It's Mac the Guru. Today we doing a review on Bel Air Season 2, Episode 5, Excellence is Everywhere. And boy, it was showing in this episode. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that like button, and check out the other content. We do Snowfall, All of the Power Series, Godfather of the Harlem, Industry, that's a business show on HBO, Secession, I'm picking that up this Sunday. So make sure you check that all out. And then we got reactions. I did reactions to everything from tip drill to um, all type of stuff on the channel. So just go through the channel, man. But boy, was it some great scenes this episode. And it started off slow for me. And then it just picked up, boy. It really did. And one of the best scenes in a scene as a man, you don't ever want to get yourself caught up in. I mean, never. And it's the scene with Jazz and Hillary X. This dude, LaMarcus Aldridge. Oh, my God, dog. Jazz runs up, playing, talking like a straight fan. I mean, super excited. I thought he was going to start rambling off this dude's stats. And... I'm obviously looking at Hillary and how she looking. I'm like, oh, man, this, this her ex. And then Carlton on the side looking like, bruh, this is horrible what you do. It's like you digging a hole, dude. And, of course, it's her ex. And then you see how Buddy look. He looking at you like, dang, little homie, you a fan, huh? You know, so it's just a whole bad situation. And Hillary, she tried to make it better. But, of course, his ego hurt. Jazz hurt his ego coming up, being the fanboy to her ex. And he got jealous just because the dude was stirred. And Hillary, she might have wanted him there. She might have didn't. She might have just wanted him for the influence thing, right? She might have wanted to see him. So he might, you know, got a right to be jealous. But I don't think she just wanted to see him. I think she really... Wanted to use him for the influence. But the problem is, whenever you bring a dude back in, especially how they broke up by somebody moving. See, if you break up by one person moving and then a person move back, it's a high chance that y'all might end up getting back together. Because it wasn't like a bad breakup where y'all, one person stormed out and all that. You know, so Jazz most likely going to have a problem. Going forward and Hillary and they whole relationship. You see, Jazz wasn't answering at the end. Oh, and the crazy part, her friends walked up talking about you got this 6'5 God or something like that, man. I'm like, ah, oh, man. They talking about the height too. You know, Jazz short. I'm like, I'm short. So I'm like, man, I know that hurt. You know what I'm saying? So he definitely going to have problems going forward. Now, other issues I see coming is definitely Carlton and Will getting into it. Definitely Uncle Phil and Will getting into it, mainly because of this Founders Award that they trying to give out a position. Because at first, Will, like, I know Carlton wanted it. He got it. But then, of course, after the things transpire with him and Lisa, now he really want to get into it. You know, so we're going to see that happen and them actually battle. I hope Carlton win. After the first season, I really didn't like the Carlton character, but I like him now. You know, I know he's going through a lot with the dope and stuff. The boy didn't flush it down the toilet. But uh, I'm starting to like the character, and I hope he make things right with Yasmin and all that. And speaking of Will and Carlton, my favorite part of this episode was how Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil handled them. First off, Aunt Viv didn't just run in and, and start, you know, causing chaos, making a decision, right? She like, hold on, let me wait for Uncle Phil to come back. We're going to go at this together, right? They make a game plan. One go talk to Will, one go talk to Carter. See, it, it shows on the show how you make a relationship work. And to be real... The writers, the producer, director, they've been doing a great job with that when it comes to Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil relationship. Because, yeah, they get into it. They do. But they they come back together. They handle it the right way. 
when Uncle Phil wrong, he approached her. Hey, I was wrong. They had a conversation. When Aunt Viv wrong, she approached him. Hey, we need to talk. You know, so they always make it work. And I really love that aspect of the show. Now, let's get to the young relationship. The love triangle. And I probably do a who do you love on these characters. Jackie and Lisa. They finally meet. Oh, man, they finally meet. And it was all good at first. And then Lisa figures out Will is with Jackie. Oh, man, if you see her face, it can tell it all, son. She looking like she couldn't even hold it together. You know what I mean? Like, if you get put in a situation like that, try to hold it together a little bit, laugh a little bit. Play it off a little bit. You know what I mean? She just had it written all over her face. Will try to act like he ain't see it. Jackie said something. I'm like, yeah. She had to say something because this is all over Lisa's face. And then when Will go back to talk to Lisa, a lot of people would have played it cool there. Like, oh, yeah, it's good. Da -da -da -da, and just played it cool. And now nah, it's okay. Lisa did what I would recommend nobody to do. Not just, I can't be friends with you. It's friends or else. I wouldn't recommend nobody do that. I didn't did that before. I was super, super young, though. Oh, man. I was super young. It didn't work out. <laughs> that never worked out. Because you give a person an ultimatum. And it's like, what? I can't be around you. I can't talk to you. I can't. Okay, you don't want to be friends, then we, we ain't going to be friends. And you done put me in this ultimatum, I'm definitely going to choose the other stuff. You know, so I think that angle, I think they not going to be as close for a while, to be honest. You know, I think that's how it's going to play out. So no more swim lessons for Lisa and Will. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode, man. And what do y'all think about the different aspects of the show like uncle phil and aunt viv how they be showing that because i think they doing a real good job better than a lot of shows now the last thing before i get out of here and i forgot to talk about it when i was speaking on the hillary jazz situation the guy that they introduced lamarcus aldrich i honestly believe Ivy will end up getting with him and both of them being like a power couple that mess with Hillary and get in get on Hillary nerve and um get on jazz nerve and I think that's what's gonna happen because we see Hillary and Ivy beefing is slowly brewing like a pot of stew it's slowly brewing I could definitely see Ivy coming in, getting with him, or two things, all right? Now, these two theories. Either that's going to happen, Ivy going to play a role. Either that's going to happen, or Jazz and Hillary going to break up, or they going to be arguing and stuff, and Ivy going to be trying to get with Jazz. And if she pull that off, that's going to be wild, man. But y'all let me know about this episode. What did y'all like? Some things that y'all didn't. But it's Smack the Guru, man. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.